Hi, Kev. Can we sit? Yes, my love. That bounce makes me so happy. That's the New Orleans in you. You got that bounce. <laughs> My name is Mariah Harmony, and today we are bringing dogs from Villalobos Rescue Center to be in the dog bowl. We brought five different dogs from the rescue. We brought Kevin, which is our oldest senior dog, Pilgrim, Whitney Houston, Condoleezza Rice, and Sprinkles. So we try and pick dogs that we think are going to play really well together, and because it's we're, we brought predominantly pit bulls, we want to make sure that things are really safe and that we do things safely, and this group of dogs is kind of bomb-proof with each other. But we also brought five dogs that way. If any dogs get really scared because it's really intimidating doing this, we have backups and different dogs bring out different personalities in each other. So we brought five that can be together but that can kind of be each other's confidence boosters. Whitney Houston came to us with another dog that we ended up naming Bobby Brown. Both of them would wait for kids to get off of the school bus and would actually escort the kids to school and to the bus stop and walk all of the kids back and forth which is the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> One of the other dogs that we brought with us is Kevin, which is our the oldest senior dog that we brought with us. He is about 13 years old. My brother Mo found him laying in front of somebody's house, sprawled out. He had a huge, huge, huge tumor on his leg, and he still has a bunch of them all over him, but they have been checked out by the doctor. Kevin also thinks that he's like six months old, and that's why he's at the dog bowl running around and playing. Um, he's just one of those that he swears he's just not gonna get old, but he definitely is. I think he has one of the cutest gray faces, and his name's Kevin, come on. <laughs> Sprinkles is another dog that we brought to the dog bowl with us. A good Samaritan saw her getting thrown out of the back of a car with a chain wrapped around her neck and had a terrible, terrible skin. Now that her hair has grown back, she actually has some of the most beautiful markings I've seen on a dog. And she is happy and healthy with us now. We picked dogs that were really adoptable to bring this year because of the exposure that the dog bowl gives them. So we're hoping that after the dog bowl, all of these dogs will get homes as well. I think that adopting an older dog, you already know, they've grown into themselves already. You know what their personality is gonna be, and it's always gonna be the gray face. I love a good gray face. Senior dogs just have this confidence about them. The whole thing like with adopting a dog and the reason we do it the way that we do is because not every dog is right for everybody. And yes, there are 40% of dogs in shelters are pit bulls, so I would rather people be adopting them, but that doesn't mean that every person should have one. Just like I don't belong with a chihuahua, like it's just how it works. I think the hardest thing with senior adoptions is that a lot of them do come with medical issues. Not all of them, but once they get to a certain age, a lot of their medical issues become a lot more prevalent, which means money, and it's extremely hard. Vet bills are not cheap, and that's why it's so hard on so many rescues dealing with senior dogs because of that. I think that when people really take the time to educate themselves on the dog that they're getting or the breed of dog, even going to a shelter and just really paying attention, being honest with what you need and what you can offer a dog, I think is the most important thing. Mm -hmm.